Nathan Carnage Corbett is an Australian knockmoy famous for his prodigious use of elbows. Elbows are largely underutilized in MMA, and fighters with deep elbow games are largely unique to Muay Thai. Even then, it's relatively rare for a non-Thai to possess such depth in his elbow tactics as Corbett did. Corbett had a versatile array of elbows as well as a coherent process for setting up and using them. First, a bit about elbows in general. Elbows are generally short-range attacks, lacking the reach and extension of punches. While this means they are able to generate force in tighter quarters, it also presents an issue of range. A short step back takes an opponent out of elbowing range, and closing distance to land elbows also lands you in clinch range in danger of being tied up. There are several ways to mitigate this disadvantage, and Corbett was adept at each one. Corbett was largely a pressure fighter, using a ramrod jab to force opponents back to the ropes where his attack would open up. Putting his man's back on the ropes removes their ability to give ground, allowing him to freely close distance and land elbows without fear of falling short and exposing himself to counters. Once on the ropes, opponents became so preoccupied defending the elbows that he was free to bang away with body shots. Another way to mitigate the elbow's short reach is to throw them on the counter, letting the opponent close distance and provide the momentum for the strike. Corbett would use uppercut elbows to counter forward movement, projecting the lead elbow and allowing opponents to run onto it. This works well when they charge forward with a right hand as well. His rear elbow was used as a cross counter, crossing over his opponent's jab or outstretched hand. Here Corbett steps into range and catches a jab on his guard. He backs out and re-enters, anticipating another jab, before slipping inside it with a crossing elbow. Corbett built his elbows into boxing combinations, allowing him to manipulate opponents' guards. Slashing elbows came around the guard like an overhand, encouraging them to widen their guard, while uppercut elbows and smashing elbows cut through the middle. Corbett would use punches to widen or narrow the guard, before exploiting it with a corresponding elbow strike. Corbett would also manipulate the guard through hand traps, pulling the hand down to open up an elbow strike. Hand traps work particularly well with elbows, since the hand that pulls down the guard can be directly folded over into the elbow. Corbett would also use them to land uppercut elbows, taking an angle towards the elbow to shorten its path and pulling out the defending hand while elbowing up the middle. The uppercut elbows and smashing elbows combine excellently with teeps. A teep feint can be used to close distance and the weight transfer of planting the leg after showing a teep is the same as you'd use to throw the elbow. Corbett would march forward, picking up a leg to show the teep and corral his opponents into a corner before planting the leg and elbowing up the middle when they expected a kick. Overhand elbows can be difficult to land clean as they run perpendicular to an opponent's guard. Corbett found a way to get around this by using angles to his advantage. If you're standing directly in front of an opponent using a high guard, your target upstairs is the broad side of his guard. If you can finesse your way around their flank while they aren't facing you, however, you're now looking into their ear where their guard doesn't cover. Corbett would throw a combination to distract and draw the high guard before taking a deep outside angle and slotting in an elbow behind the guard. Not only useful to bypass opponent's guards, Corbett's elbows played well with his own high guard too. Corbett would adopt the high guard when opponents swarmed, putting his hands in position to fire off elbows directly from the guard in between their punches. He would also cover up with the high guard and project his elbows, allowing aggressive opponents to run onto them. The high guard kept his hands tight to the inside, which allowed him to elbow inside of his opponent's wide swings and achieve inside position if they tried to grab onto him. Inside position provides superior leverage both to push off and break the clinch, or to frame opponents away and create distance to land more elbows. Corbett fought at heavyweight and cruiserweight, putting him well out of the range of elite Thai weight classes. As Thais have a near monopoly on clinching talent in Muay Thai, Corbett wasn't forced to deal with elite clinchers who could lock him down positionally and smother his elbows. Corbett was never a clinch specialist himself, but he scored many of his cleanest elbows from crossing over top of an opponent's loose collar tie. He was also skilled at using his own collar ties to turn opponents in the clinch and lead them into his crossing elbows. Nathan Corbett will go down as one of the greater fighters in Muay Thai's larger weight classes, and his greatness is largely due to the incredible dexterity, ferocity, and craft of his elbows. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.